the greatest danger you will do is to miss the rapture nobody will be saved after the rapture don't deceive yourself nobody will be saved if rapture take place nobody will go to heaven again if you have not endured what is present you can't endure what is coming check your life when you saw my eye was it not like as if i'm crying because i am feeling the bath of pain that is coming on this earth i am feeling the pain that is about to engulf this planet you are joking with christ everybody is preaching everybody is warning you repent repent you can't repent something is behind something is coming you you think you think you have money your money will not save you that day you think you know people people will not save you that day you think you are intelligent it will not save you that day rapture is coming and this rapture that is coming i fear because even the church will miss the rapture even the church will miss that rapture repent repent of all your sins do you see the number of weddings going on do you see how many people are getting married every saturday huh? bible talk about it he said when you see men giving out their children into marriage is a sign it will come suddenly like the days of lord you think everybody is preaching you are still pompous you are still bragging because you are breathing what was the research you saw yesterday they said what did they discover listen to what they on the internet what did they discover something what the danger is approaching the earth. is approaching the earth from another planet i prophesied it in the church i prophesied i said something is coming this your eye will melt inside people will dry up on the street like this if you can't hear the voice of the prophet there's nobody will hear again when i see people are still after what they feel and not after god how many times have you given to god how many hours have you given to god how many hours how long if jesus will come now what have you done for christ now what have you done what is your work on earth be playing with your life i didn't come to preach i came as a warner because what will befall the earth it will shock humanity you have one more chance before god and that chance is the preachers that are available today it was after after we we, we finished the wedding he saw me like i'm crying in the office is it no you, you why you not see me yes. my eyes were yes, red were red and i told him i said i am feeling the pain of what is about to happen on earth do not trust your fame do not trust your riches do not trust your education do not trust who you know run after jesus christ some of you you are still playing politics with the things of god run for your life that day no man will save you that day you don't have a pastor that will save you that day you don't have a prophet to save you that day you don't have an apostle to save you that day you don't have an evangelist to save you you have only one chance and that chance is to repent if pastors will not say it let the prophet say it i owe no man apology listen church listen listen and listen prepare yourself for the rapture this night breaking of today i had a terrible vision about this church people that i know they miss rapture in this church people that i know in the front seat they lost rapture i was watching how people were taking off people in the choir lost rapture pastors you lost rapture i saw many of you seated down you didn't go to heaven some of you you are running 
up and down in this city looking for where to put your head you miss rapture repent 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 this is what the lord has sent me to tell you today can we rise to our feet i fear what i saw in my vision go home repent some of you you are encouraging others in those days now people can't even encourage you you are backslidden go and check your life some of you you are praying four hours a day now 20 minutes you cannot pray go home now and pray not in the church when the prophet came he warned hezekiah of the impending danger what did hezekiah did he went back i'm not preaching today i'm not preaching service has ended i have finished my own i'm not preaching i'm not prophesying i'm not doing anything we are closing the service now go and prepare your home danger is coming on the earth will you be before god or you'll be before man those of you that are abusing other denomination you will be shocked those in those churches will go to heaven you here you won't go to heaven you will be shocked you attended exosia and you are not in heaven go prepare your house did you hear what i said did you hear what i said yes sir some of you listen some of you today they are begging you to come to church don't come to church don't come don't come to church i beg you don't come to church again there will be a day you will desire it the antichrist will stop it what did i tell you yesterday yes, sir. i told you i told him i said how many of you you have not touched your handset today how many of you you have not seen your handset today it will be very real now if the antichrist come and said if you don't have a number you will use the handset how many people can forfeit it how many people can forfeit it few people you should now know that the number 666 is at hand don't think they will give this number later they will give this number presently in our world i don't care i don't care i don't care again i don't care again Firstly, I'm a prophet. I'm not a pastor. Do you hear what I said? I am not a pastor. I am a prophet. Prophet, they are warners. They don't pay to you. They tell you what is to come. Yes, sir. I'm so sorry. Those that I saw in this church missing rapture, I pity them. Because they were zealous in the beginning. And they have ended as ordinary men go and pray go and pray those of you who want to hear the word of God meet me on Thursday father thank you for today we appreciate you for the service as we go home teach your word to those that are teachable give wisdom to those who seek wisdom I thank you for I've delivered your message in Jesus name